Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more Sid Meier's colonization. So, I think I'm just going to move the 200 ore from New Amsterdam to Fort Orange, because Fort Orange cannot get its own ore, but I can still produce tools in here. So we might as well do that. And I'm not going to wait for the Sifa to grow, I'm just going to move that blacksmith right away. It's still going to grow in 11 turns anyway, so that's fine. We can also move 100 tools to Fort Orange. Alright then, off we go! And once I get enough money, I might actually just buy the specialists I need, because you can do that, it's just really expensive. But it will be worth it, in some cases. Anyway, that was what? A stockade. Right, let's just build a schoolhouse in there. We got a master weaver, where is he from? Also, out of storage for lumber. Which town is that? I'm losing track of which town is which. That has to be one of the newer ones. Oh yeah, this one. Right. We are capped on lumber storage. We can just move one guy for now. I mean, we can move the lumberjack and then move him back in a few turns. That's fine. Or move the guy currently working on tools. How's ore in here? 111. Okay, let's move him then. We'll finish the schoolhouse a little bit faster. I'm still gathering more than I'm consuming. <laughs> yeah, that's 12 per turn. Let's just move the lumberjack. I can move him back later, it's fine. Anyway, we got a converted native and a master weaver. I could actually send that native somewhere to start a new settlement. To the south, maybe? There are a few spots that will be decent. And I have wagon trains, so really, there's no reason not to just do that. Yep, let's just send him south. And the other guy can join New Amsterdam. What are we doing in here? There's the master weaver. Well, he can work on cloth, that's fine. Graduation in 30 turns. Yep, that will take a while. 13 turns for the blacksmith shop. Okay, well, that's fine. And we got two fishermen right here. So I'm going to leave one of them in Fort Nassau and move the other one to New Amsterdam, I think. Or we can move him here to Bahia. Yep, sounds reasonable. And then assign the other guys to something else. Here you go. That's going to be the fisherman. All right, I have to wait one turn to actually join the colony. All right then. It will take a while to move that blacksmith with a caravel, but that's fine. And let's visit the natives. We can check what they have to offer. Expert tobacco planter. Yeah, I do not need expert tobacco planters. All right, let's keep moving then. Join the settlement. And let's assign him right away. You can do something else. Wait, that's one of these guys, right? I think so. So technically I could still use a third one, but my other settlements could also use fishermen. We got two dudes working on the coats, that's fine. I could also use a specialist for that. I have one somewhere, but not here. Lumberjack. Oh yeah, we will be full on lumber soon. So how about we just move one guy? Oh wait, I'm basically out of furs. I'm just getting two per turn from the city center. Yeah, let's move them to something else. Like maybe Liberty Bells. Or crosses. How many crosses are we currently generating? Oh yeah, only plus four per turn. I don't think that's actually worth it. I think we're better off working on Liberty Bells. Because I'll need a lot of Liberty Bells. Right now, only 1% of the people support independence in this settlement. The most I have is like 3%. So we'll need to work on that a lot more. But that's alright. Can we sell something from around here? Yeah, I could just sell the tobacco. I have a lot of tobacco, I will not be able to convert all of that to cigars anytime soon. Even if I start doing it, I'm still gathering like a lot more tobacco than I can use. So we might as well sell some of it directly. 
Uh, that's the fisherman, so obviously he will join. And let's assign him to fish right away. There you go, nice one. And then what? And then we could actually work on the lumber. Here you go, 12. Uh, that's still more than I need. House food. We are not growing very quickly. But I can't get too much food from the remaining tiles. I could actually use a farm right here. We can do that once we get 50 tools. Then I can get a pioneer and just get a farm. How about we assign that guy to Liberty Bears for now? Yep, sounds good to me. And then we can reassign him once we use up some of the lumber. There's another stockade. So, printing press. That does require 20 tools. Do we have tools in this one? No, we do not. And we can't gather ore in this one. Okay. Well, we already have a schoolhouse, a church, and a town hall. I could upgrade the town hall. That will require tools. But we need an upgraded town hall in at least a few settlements. So that's what I'm thinking. It's only 20 tools. I can deliver them from somewhere else. In fact, I have a caravel on the way. So we can drop off 20 tolls while we are heading east with this caravel right here. Sounds good. 20 tolls is not exactly a lot and we definitely need to upgrade the town hall. So we got the guns delivered to New Amsterdam. Let's just drop them off here. And I'll just leave them here for now. That way we'll be able to get a soldier anytime we want. How's that criminal doing? Yeah, 28 turns. That will still take a while, I'm afraid. Do we need to go anywhere with wagon train? I suppose we can go west and move some goods. Here's yet another colonist. What is he going to do? Uh, hold on. Let's work on some tools. Uh, no, we are waiting for the ore. What did he get assigned to? 13 production. Yeah, how about we build something in here instead of working on military points? I could build a university that does require 100 tools, but I already have a college. This is my only settlement with a college. And so far, I think this is the only one with an upgraded town hall. What else can we do? We could upgrade the blacksmith's house, but I would have to deliver ore from elsewhere. How about we upgrade the armory? What does that require? Magazine. Is that the one? Yes. That's the one. It's required to train cannons and artillery as well. I think I'm going to do that. That only requires 50 tools. I expected more like 80 or 100. Let's do that then. I will need at least one magazine somewhere, so we might as well build it here. Works for me. And let's grab some cigars. Yup. It's not a lot, but it will be worth a good amount of money. And we'll just go to Europe. I think I might be able to afford a specialist already, but I need to check. And we were supposed to move the ore. Let's just do that. Anything else we might want to move? I could go sell the cotton. And tobacco. Yeah, I'll just drop off the ore and then we can go sell tobacco and cotton. That's fine. Okay, so where are we going to settle? I need some decent food. Free food on the marsh tile. Oh, I could actually get some sugar from this area. That's not a bad idea. How about right here? If we settle here, that actually seems pretty decent. Right here. I'll have some nice yields. Yep, looking good. And then I can use wagon trains to move things around. I got two already and they aren't exactly expensive. Where do we send the scout? I'm kind of almost done exploring, basically. Yeah, pretty much. We can still talk with some of the natives. And we graduated. So expert lumberjack, expert fisherman. I guess that's going to be expert fisherman. I could still use one in here. So there you go. And now we can assign him. That is going to be a lot of fish. 
Yeah, look at all the fish. That's 36 food just from these three guys. That's pretty amazing. Now we can use the other colonies for something else. Like Liberty Bells. I think that's basically what I'll use this town for. Liberty Bells and Crosses. Yep, sounds good, especially since we'll get the printing press in six turns. And yeah, we almost got too much lumber already. Just reassign that guy to Crosses. That's fine. Okay, so we want 20 tools in here for the printing press. Let's just move 20 tools. Okay, and I need 50 tools for the magazine, which leaves us with 30. So I could still drop 20 somewhere for another printing press. That's an option. What can we move? I could move the cotton. Just move it east, so that it will be more convenient to pick up with our ships. And what about the other cities? Yeah, 200 tobacco in this one. We should probably go and pick that up. And I think this is going to be the colony. Let me check the yields. Yeah, we'll have the lumber, we'll have a few tiles with food. A free food from that one. Okay, hold on, maybe that's not good enough. I would probably want to remove at least one marsh. But we have a tile with free food. And another one with free food. It should be good enough. I think it will be good enough. Alright, let's keep moving. Let's speak with the chief. Expert fishermen and they need trade goods. Well, I can get expert fishermen just fine on my own, thank you very much. Another new colonist. So what are we doing in here? Building the schoolhouse. Lumber, food, food. Okay, looking good. We don't actually need lumber at this point. Carry on then. And how's our island city doing? It will grow in six turns. We are still working on the armory, which is fine. That doesn't require tools. And I could actually build guns in that town. That's part of the plan. Okay, we got 1300. Is that enough to actually buy... What did we need again? Not a tobacconist. Wait, no, we don't need a tobacconist. That's 1200. I could also use a hardy pioneer, but that's 2000 gold. That's a little bit too much, I think. And also an elder statesman would be really good. Yeah, I need several professions from here, but I can't afford all of them. I think I'm going to grab the tobacconist. That seems reasonable. Anything else? Yeah, I guess that's going to be it. That's plus 100% production of cigars. And we can send him somewhere. And I could have one settlement working on that, just upgrade the relevant building. Fine, that's basically all of my money. But should be worth it, I think. Off we go. Also, we should be working on the horses. That was the settlement. Can anyone work on that right now? I suppose this guy? Maybe. I could use more people in here. I guess I won't be needing that gunsmith much longer because we got the specialist coming. But we're not working on the guns right now either. I still got ore coming in. We can work on the horses for like a turn or two. There's also a specialist for that. But yeah, I can't afford all of that. Four food from this tile. Yeah, I think this spot would actually be better. And the game is also suggesting that. Yeah, it looks like it would actually be better. It will have more food, that's for sure. Okay, so that's the caravel with the blacksmith. Let's drop him off right away. Where was he supposed to go? I think here, right? Yeah, pretty sure that's where he was heading. I don't even have to wait, I can just move him manually. There you go. And, right, too much lumber. Which town is that? 
one of these. Yep, this one. So just move one guy. Right, that's the expert tobacco planter. And I'm waiting for the wagon train. Yeah, there it is. Let's move 100 tobacco. And I suppose we can work on that a bit until we get 200 again. I am working on cigars. What we'll probably want to do is use the one guy we hired to train more. It will also cost me, but it won't cost me as much as hiring a brand new one from Europe. I'm talking about the tobacconist. There's the pioneer. We just finished a lodge. Okay, how about we remove some of that jungle? We got three tiles of the jungle. And they all have the exact same yields. So we might as well clear one of them. That seems like a decent enough idea. And I got one more wagon train that's just sitting there not doing anything. Let's just move it to pick up more tobacco. And yes, I can automate it, but I don't want to automate it right now. You are supposed to drop the ore. So now I can work on tolls in here. Yep. So this guy. Let's work on the tolls and we can work on the guns simultaneously. That's plus six tolls and plus six guns. And I might actually end up upgrading the blacksmith cells. I mean, moving the ore from other settlements isn't really a big deal. And I can finish this magazine much faster than I could build it anywhere else at the moment. And let's grab a few things to sell. I might as well sell the first. Yeah, okay, let's just do that. And now we'll go to Europe. The next thing I'll probably want is an Elder Statesman. Yeah, we definitely want one. And then train more. That's a very important specialization, actually. So, let's drop the tools. I need 50 for the magazine. I am already making more. So, I suppose I could move this elsewhere. But, I mean, we are getting 6 and we are using 6. Which means I need at least 50 for the magazine. Let's just drop 44. And that leaves me with 36. That's almost enough for two upgraded town halls. That's 20 tolls each. I think I got some tolls in New Amsterdam. Yes, I do. So where can we move that? We can move some here. No, this town has some tolls. It's producing its own tolls. Okay, that's fine. I could move it somewhere here, but that's probably best done with a wagon train. That's what I'm thinking. And hold on, once we finish the magazine, our guns production will increase, right? I'm pretty sure it does, that's kind of part of the point. So I suppose I could just dump the tolls in there. Anyway, let's start a settlement. Uh, yes, I'm sure I want to do that. I already have wagon trains. I'm like way ahead of you. Here. So let's start with the warehouse and assign this fella to food. We also got some silver here. No, that's definitely worth it. I will be working on that for sure. And we got sugar. I do not have that in any other city. So we could actually make room in here. This will be a useful town for sure. Okay then. So. Maybe we should build some roads, that's what I'm thinking. Because I haven't built any, but it's definitely a good idea to get some. Yeah, let's get some roads, it will be useful for sure. And there's our tobacconist. Where is he going to be? Hold on. That's a good question. New Amsterdam, right? Or no? Let me check, where are we actually working on cigars right now? Which town can get the most tobacco? Hold on. This one. We do have an expert tobacco planter. He's also kind of a soldier. He has some promotions, but that's alright. So that's one. Here's another one. No tobacco planter in here. Some tobacco over here. Yeah, I think that first one was basically the best candidate. Here's some tobacco. An actual tobacco resource. Oh yeah, that's the newest city we started. So that's definitely not the one. 
Yeah, it looks like this is actually the best candidate right here because I got expert tobacco planter. This style is already improved and it has the actual tobacco resource and the city center is getting some tobacco. So we'll probably want to upgrade the tobacco in this house. Maybe even like instead of the schoolhouse because this schoolhouse isn't really that important. Let's upgrade the tobacco in this house. Yep. I assume that requires tools, but that's all right. We'll get the tools and not too worried about that. We can still finish the schoolhouse after, but first tobacco in this shop. Okay, carry on then. A seventeen turns to grow. Maybe we can speed that up a little. Twelve turns. Yep, let's speed that up then. We got the tobacco is coming. So this is the one. Yep, that's the one. We can drop him off in New Amsterdam and then he can go on foot. Okay, I'm going to drop the tolls in Fort Orange. There you go. It's not like they will go to waste. They most certainly will not. And now I could use this blacksmith to train more blacksmiths. That was kind of part of the point. How much will that cost us? Oh, hold on, I can't actually do it. I might have to upgrade the college. Lumberjack, fisherman, gunsmith, fur trader, weaver. I could get another gunsmith for 750, because I'll want to have a working armory in more than just one town. But for now, let's work on the crosses, I suppose. And we can move some resources to sell. Where do we have something useful? Tobacco. Okay. Tobacco. Oh yeah, coats. Let's move some coats to Europe. That's the pioneer. So let's remove this forest right here, or rather jungle. Because I got three tiles with the same exact yields with Django on them. So we might as well remove this one. We could just build a farm right away, which will also remove the Django. But it's like two actions queued up in a row, so it doesn't make a difference whether we tell him to build a farm now or remove the Django first and then build a farm after. It will be 18 turns regardless of what order we do it in. Still got some natives we haven't talked with. Oh, seasoned scout, interesting. I mean, I don't think I need another seasoned scout, but good to know. No, I don't want to declare war. Okay, that might come in handy, maybe. So, stockade. What is this town doing? Growing in three turns. We got a fisherman. We got some normal dudes. We are working on cigars. We got 66 cigars in here. Yeah, should probably move them. Let's... no, hold on, don't need the fort. Uh, how the heck do you remove that? What do we need? Something that doesn't require tools, perhaps. Schoolhouse? Yep, just queue it up. Three turns to build a dog, okay. I mean, I don't need a dog. Wait, no, we could actually use a dog in here. I only got one tile that will benefit from it. But, I mean, I can build a dog in three turns. We might as well just do that. There's no real downside. Alright, let's build some roads, shall we? That's 20 gold, but we should definitely at least connect New Holland. So, like this. Okay. Carry on. Are we done talking with the natives? I think there are still a few more. New colonist? I could send him to Ford Orange to train him. Do we need anything in Fort Nassau? Oh yeah, printing press is almost done. And since we are about to finish printing press, I think I could just assign three colonists to work on that. I do not have an elder statesman, so that's not an option. This is fine, and we obviously need liberty bells. Yup. Carry on then. Sell all of that. How much gold is that? 1100. That's not enough, is it? Well, no. I need more, unfortunately. 2000 for elder statesmen. Yeah. 
and 1500 for Master Rancher. We will probably need at least one Master Rancher because I'll need horses. And we have one stable, so we'll want to grab him eventually. Yep, he wants to raise our tax. Okay, fine. 12%. We were supposed to pick up some cows, I think. Still some more natives we can talk with. Season scout and they need horses. And he gave us some money. Oh, so now I have 1200. I think it's best if we wait for 2000 to get that elder statesman. Yep. That's the plan. So, this is where we're heading. Things are looking pretty good. And there's the printing press. So now we're getting plus 9 per turn. It will be a lot more with an elder statesman. What's next? Let's see, do not have tolls in here anymore. What doesn't require tolls? I could start something that requires tolls and then just deliver the tolls later. We could build an armory that doesn't require tolls and it would be nice to have an armory available in as many settlements as possible. I can just move the tolls myself. But armory takes a while to actually build, you know. We could upgrade the carpenter's shop. I got two good tires with lumber, so that's not a terrible idea. Where was it? Right here. That does require some tolls, but that's really not a big deal. Anything else? Well, we could build a newspaper, actually. You know what, let's build a newspaper, why the heck not? And once we get the Elder Statesman, we'll send him here. Yup. Newspaper it is then. That's still only 50 tolls, right? Yup. Okay, carry on. Roger Williams has offered to join your cause. Plus 25% native conversion rate from missions. Strengthens relations with the natives. Ends wars with the natives. I suppose I could grab him, but I would like to get someone a little bit more useful. I think I'll say no. Spain seems to be doing quite well. Francisco de Coronado. Plus one movement for dragoons. I don't have any, but we'll get some at some point in the future. And still, I'm going to say no. Adam Smith has offered to join your cause. Plus 50% faster production for textile mill, coat factory, rum factory, cigar factory. Okay, I definitely want that. It will take me some time before I can take advantage of that. Because that's like the final upgrade. But we want that guy for sure. And now that should probably be the priority, to build at least one somewhere. Alright, let's grab the codes. And I suppose that will do. Yeah, that's the newspaper town. We will need more lumber, but we still got 150 in storage. So, scout. We still got some natives we can talk with. And there's the tobacconist. He'll just continue on foot, like I said. So this is where he's going. Off you go then. And what else? Uh, tobacco and cotton, I could just move that to Europe immediately. We need 2000 gold. Yes, it will be more efficient to convert it, but I'm producing way too much tobacco to convert all of that. And we got sent into cloth, that should be worth a fair bit of money. Yep, this is fine. I'll keep the cotton because we can convert that into cloth. So this is fine, now we can head back. That should be enough money for elder statesmen. As for the wagon train, do we move something to St. Martin? I could actually move lumber here, which is not a terrible idea. Maybe not from this town, but we have a few towns with way too much lumber. Mostly the ones to the south. Mostly ones with lumberjacks. Where did we have an actual lumberjack? In here? But this one is using the production. Yeah, this guy. That's a little bit far away, but I could go there. Oh, we also need to move some resources from Krakow. Yeah, almost 200 tobacco 
Let's just go there. It will take me a while to actually get there. But that's alright. And this is a bit weird. Here. Yeah, seven turns. That's not that bad. As for the merchant man, right, we are going back to Europe. Off you go. And we got a new colonist in Recife. Took you long enough. Should probably assign him to food. Yeah, I could really use a fisherman in here. I'll probably want to deliver one. But that's not really a priority at the moment. So, tobacco. Uh, well, no, hold on. This town is supposed to be producing cigars. If anything, we should deliver tools here so that we can upgrade the tobacco in this shop. I need to deliver tools here. Okay. Well, that's all right. We'll do that. From New Amsterdam or so. There's the dock. So next up, church, because that doesn't require tools. I don't quite need a dock here, but that's only seven turns to build one. And I could get free food from water tiles with a dock. Yeah, okay, let's just build a dock. You will go to Europe or we can pick something up on the way from Ford Orange. There's not much in there really. How many horses do we have so far? Oh, hold on, right, I don't have anyone assigned at the moment. I need more people in here. I need that rancher. But I want an elder statesman first. So I think the rancher will have to wait. There's another colonist. Up to four. So what can you do? Food, lumber. Yep, that's fine. We need production. Where were you heading? I'm losing track of everything I'm doing. Oh yeah, we were supposed to move tools. Okay. The merchant man is back. So how about we move one guy to Recife, but where from? I could move one from Fort Nassau. I could train one more fisherman in here. That will take, what, 12 turns? I think I'm going to do that, and then we can move him. Meanwhile, we'll just keep moving the goods. Ask to speak with the chief. Expert tobacco planter. Yeah, I do not need more tobacco planters. I have plenty already. But thanks for the offer. <laughs> There's a lot of tobacco around here. Okay, we are a little bit ahead of Spain now. How many tolls do we actually have waiting in New Amsterdam at the moment? The blacksmith shop is almost done. It will be done on the next turn. And then I really need a blacksmith in here. So, well, we're work. No, we're not working on... We can't get one right now, right? I need to upgrade the college. Yeah, I think I would have to upgrade the college. There's no option for a blacksmith. Just lumberjack, fisherman, gunsmith, fur trader and weaver. So I guess we'll probably want to upgrade the college after this. I could buy another blacksmith, but there's no need to do that. I have other priorities, like the statesman. We'll want to upgrade the college anyway. I assume I'll have to do that to train more elder statesmen. And we want one fully upgraded college in at least one city anyway. Church, New Amsterdam. Yeah, let's build an armory in New Amsterdam. Yep. What do you want? He wants us to declare war on France. I really don't want to do that right now. World map? I don't need your world map. Thanks. So, let's grab the tools. I need 50 tools. So, 50 tools it is then. Okay. And we are out of ore. Let's just reassign one guy. I can't really move the servant because we need food. Well, we can move the weaver. He won't be as good at it, but that's alright. That's plus seven per turn. And we are also getting seven production. 
Uh, I mean, no, hold on. Yeah, plus six stores because the blacksmith shop is an upgraded version. So we'll do a few turns and then we'll switch him back to blacksmith shop. And the tolls will go to finish the tobacconist shop. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And subscribe for more daily videos. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.